Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be unboxing my brand new Huawei MateBook D14. This was a gift from my parents after getting my GCC results, so a huge thanks to them because they're the best parents ever and I'm so excited to unbox it. So let's move on to the unboxing. So here my dad is cutting open the box with a knife. I didn't want to do this myself because I found it a bit risky. So this laptop screen size is 14 inches. Its weight is 1.38 kg, which is really light. I chose this because it's really portable. And the space wise, it's 512 GB of storage with 8 GB of RAM, which I find really good. I wanted at least 512 GB so that I know I have enough space and won't run out anytime soon. Also, this has a Windows 10 operating system with an AMD Ryzen 7 core. The colour of the laptop's too pretty. In the website, the spec called it space grey, but in real life, it's more like a purpley, not purpley, but probably like a lilac grey, and it makes it look really pretty. It looks different from the rest as well. It's not like your average boring silver. It looks really, really nice. This is better than I expected, honestly. And the outside protective cover is really, it's like matte. So if you touch it with your hands, the grease, like your fingerprints won't show much, which is good. And it's really, it has like a nice sheen to it as well. I like the Huawei logo on it as well. It looks really like smart and professional. So one mistake we did, we didn't read the manual before switching on the laptop. So they said charge it first. So this is not like when you switch on a new phone, you can switch on right away. So here we put it on charge first. Even the charger came really well packed. But yeah, something to get used to. The ports are really rigid at first, they're stiff, so you have to push it in a bit more. Okay, so now I'll just go through the setting up of the laptop. The power on button also doubles as a fingerprint scanner, which is a cool feature that I haven't seen in many other laptops. Mission accomplished. You're all linked up. Now we have some important setting up to do. Next up, the legal stuff. In short, you'll need to select accept to use Windows. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. Also the screen is sort of matte, it's not glossy and it doesn't reflect light into your eyes and that's really really useful for like low light conditions or if you're outside. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. So I went on to my mom's channel so you should definitely try it out my mom has really good recipes on this channel and she explains it really really well so now I'm just going to check out the sound quality and it's really good it's loud it's not too echoey I heard a lot of like um, reviews where um, they said the sound kind of echoes because the sounds right at the bottom of the laptop but I didn't find any problems with that and also after putting on the video I realized how huge the screen looked without the webcam because they put the webcam in the keyboard so there's a button that Hello, I'm pressing now Mr. and Michael, there's like a pop-up apparently it's unflattering you can see through your nose and that kind of stuff I don't really use my camera as much so I shouldn't find that as much of a problem overall though the keyboard is really nice it clicks well and the touchpad as well it's just really smooth just like the cover you can't really see fingerprints which I find a good thing it just looks clean all the time there's also backlighting on the laptop so there's a button in the keyboard as well to set it on or even if I switch on the laptop it immediately shows the backlighting it's really cool it looks nice and 
I wouldn't be requiring this much, but it's a nice feature to have. There's also a cool feature here called PC Manager. Um, I accessed it from the desktop, but there's also a button for it in the keyboard. And if you press it, it just does a check on the hardware of the laptop. So I found that really cool. This wasn't in any of my previous like computers or laptops that we use in the family. So after setting up, some of the first things I did was move my files into the laptop. I downloaded Chrome because I don't like using Microsoft Edge and I changed the wallpaper, changed the theme. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's any questions, you can drop it down in the comments and see you later.